Hi, Mike's Carburetor Parts here. I'm going to show you how to replace the uh, accelerator pump diaphragm on an Autolite one barrel 1100, 1101, and also uh, how this uh, repair plate is installed uh, on this carburetor. You see the repair plate where it has a protrusion out on one side of it, and uh, this is to help keep it from leaking. Uh, these things are prone to leak around the uh, insides on each edge because of the uh, warpage that you'll find on, on every one of these carburetors unless they've been straightened out uh, which it can be done uh, so your spring goes on there like a so put the small end uh, towards the carburetor and then your uh, diaphragm goes on next and uh, this points towards the outside just like a so and you want to put this repair plate on so that the bumps are towards the gasket okay that's going to help uh, push the gasket on the inside you see these are these bumps are on the inside and uh, it'll help uh, seal the uh, diaphragm okay on this side you don't have any fuel on the other side you do All right get that in there Okay, so I know the question is going to come up about pump stroke. Isn't that going to change a pump stroke? Well, there is an adjustment on these things. Look at your uh, instruction sheet. Um, and would it be better without that uh, as far as a pump stroke goes? Yes, it would, but uh, good luck. Your carburetors are old now, so we do what we can with them. We can't make them brand new. Remanufactured or otherwise. Ain't going to happen. Okay, so these things get warped because people uh, over tighten these screws and uh, uh, over time, and uh, that's the way it is. So we'll tighten these up. Always go across the top when you're tightening these things, any screws, get it tightened out evenly. Okay, and there you go. Like I say, there are some adjustments out here uh, because you have to adjust your power piston or power uh, rod for one thing. If it comes out too far, it's going to get stuck. It's got to come out just right to the edge like that. Okay, and there is, like I say, there is an adjustment. I'm going to go through that now. Look at your instruction sheet. It's pretty uh, well explained there. So that's how you uh, replace the uh, diaphragm. Thank you for watching.